Today we visit Oceano Airport, an airport that's on many pilots short list. And how can it not be? I mean, you got the dunes, you got the ocean, you got the mountains. I mean, that's an amazing view. We've been wanting to come here for months, but we haven't been able to because every time we wanted to come, that pesky marine layer. And sometimes it would literally be just over this airport. So make sure that if you're going to come and visit, always keep an eye on that weather and have an alternative. You still can go to San Luis Obispo, which is amazing. You got Santa Maria and one of our personal favorites, Paso Robles, is probably 20, 30 minute flight away from here. So keep that in mind when you're coming and planning for Oceano. And another thing to plan for is this runway. Now it is 2,325 feet. It's more than enough, more than enough for us, but it's relatively short compared to a lot of the runways that most pilots land at. So I practice a lot on the sim, but I found it not to be too bad. I would say on departure though, even though we typically only need 1500 feet with our weight at sea level. I still do a short field takeoff just because of those bushes at the end. Now the pilot's lounge is pretty tiny. It feels like it's three by five feet, but rumor has it since the board of supervisors voted to not only save, but improve the airport, then one of those improvements could be a bigger pilot's lounge. Now warning on this fuel. If you go to four flight, you'll see pilots say that one day it's working, the next day it's not. Now, when we went this day, it was not working. So if you're going to fly in here, just make sure you don't need the fuel. If they happen to have fuel, well, it's just a cherry on top. Another thing that this airport has is a campground. You can actually camp here overnight. Now, I don't know much about camping, so I'm not going to really speak on it. But if you love camping, this is pretty cool. And then the beach is probably only like a 10 minute walk away. Now, as far as transient parking, there's about 15 to 20 spots. So if it's a busy weekend, just keep that in mind. But they do have tie down chains, so you're all set. Checklist time. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you don't want to miss next week's airport, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about Oceano or just general feedback on things you want to see, leave a comment. Checklist complete. So my words can't do justice what it's like to depart out of this airport. So I'll let you guys just see. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next week.